Hi, today we are going to learn about graphing integer numbers on a number line. Let us look at a problem. Graph 1. Now we need to graph 1 on a number line. Let us look how a number line looks like. Let me draw a line. 0 is placed at the center of this line. Positive numbers on the right hand side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They continue till positive infinity. And negative numbers on the left hand side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and they continue till negative infinity. As we move on to the right hand side of the number line from the left hand side the numbers are increasing. And as we move from right hand side to the left hand side, the numbers are decreasing. Now, in order to graph a number, we go at that point. Now, we need to graph 1. We go at 1 and we make a circle like this over that number and we fill this circle. This is how the graph of 1 would represent. This is how 1 is represented on the number line. And we can see this is the option in the D part. So we can just highlight our answer as D. Next problem. Graph negative 3. Again on a number line. Negative 3 will be on the left hand side of the 0. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Negative 3 will be here. Circle this. This is how negative 3 will be represented. Which is the answer in the B part. The circle should be there on the number. That's it. So B is our answer. Next problem, graph 5. Now, 5 is represented on the right hand side of the number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So, 5 here and circle this. Answer option C. So let me just highlight C part. So any number to be represented on the number line, we have to do it like placing the circle on that number and just filling it. I hope you can practice more problems on graphing integer numbers on a number line now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.